Hi there, it's Shell and Clint. Hello. <laughs> uh, today we are doing another kind of stash buster, build your stash. So, I pulled out tons of uh, papers, you know, um, whenever I like cut down paper or something, I used to throw all these like in a big, um, like in my paper organizers. But I thought, you know, maybe I could see them better if they were in some kind of basket. So, that's what we're messing with today. And, <laughs> oops, dropped papers all over. <clears throat> so, anyways, what I'm doing, and then some stuff that shouldn't go in there. What I'm doing is, we're going to pull some of these. They don't have to be very big. So, let's kind of dig down and see what there is. This would work. We're going to make little pockets. And, you know, it doesn't have to be any special size pocket or anything like that. But, again, these were um, inspired by Pinterest. Uh, sometimes when I just don't know what I want to do, then I kind of go on Pinterest and kind of play around and look around and <coughs> see what there is to do. So that one, let's make like five or six of them. Just because, you know, it's just nice to make things when you have, um, when you're building your stash, I think it's just nice to make, you know, several. And you guys know what I'm talking about because some of you have said that you love working in like assembly lines, things like that. Uh, we do have our air conditioner on since you guys, a lot of you said you couldn't really hear it. And I couldn't really hear it either. So. <laughs> And Clint and I both listen to it, and I think it's fine as far as the video goes. So, these are going to be really simple, I think. <laughs> uh, I haven't really done like a, um, you know, like a template or anything like that. I just thought, you know, this is how I would do it in my brain. You guys do not want to be there. <laughs> Amen to that. <laughs> really? <laughs> And I thought, you know, this would work, and it's always fun, like I said, just to build up our stash. Uh, and, you know, I mean, look at how many pieces of paper we're going to use. I think I can make these very easily. So, please, get out of there. Uh, let's see, what size do we want? <clears throat> uh, I'm thinking, you know, the size I want is about, say, three inches. So, in order to do that, I need like a six inch spread, is what I'm thinking. So, I'm going to do six and a half inch. Because I do need a half, an extra half inch or so. And, you know, this one's a little bit shorter, so we could make another one, just make it a little bit smaller. And then, That's so this is about six and a half by just over four, so like four and a quarter. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm just going to kinda do a lip on the bottom of it. Just about half an inch or so. Uh-oh. It does not have to be, uh-oh, what, oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh I tell you, I put some um, thread out the other day to make some little um, flowers, crochet up some little flowers. And my cat's got to them, so. A little turd? Yeah. So, let's just kind of, you know, just do some of these. I don't think, like I said, it's not going to be very hard. But on one of the links, you're just going to go ahead and do approximately half inch. And that will make more sense later. But, you know, since we're doing this, we may as well kind of, and I'm not going to measure this. I'm just going to kind of estimate the size. That way I'm not wasting any, you know, thing. Scoring around a half an inch. Uh-oh, did that break? No. And then this one could be a little bit taller. I'm trying to think what I want to do. Let's see. Cut it in half. <clears throat> and then, yeah, let's go ahead and score about half an inch. These, I think will be really quick and will go really nicely in our stash to use at a different time. You know, if they ended up being too tall, 
I don't think that would be too tall though. But you guys don't know yet what I'm doing unless you've seen the <laughs> preview, which by now you probably have. <clears throat> but I'm just and I have to be careful when I'm using this. Uh, this is the titanium, what's called titanium bonded, and uh, it has a score and a cutter on it. But you don't have to score these, you know. I just thought, since I have it out, I'm going to score it. <laughs> and, you know, you could do the whole thing at one time instead of, like, doing little pieces like I'm doing. And, I mean, once we're done here, we're done with our cutting board. So... You know, these are smaller. Look how tiny these are. These are about three inches, three and a half inches. So they're going to be about three inches tall. And just scraps I had in my stash. Okay. <clears throat> and we're done with this, the cutter. <laughs> okay. And look what I did. I did it too hard. So this one's even going to be tinier if I can make it work. I was thinking I had to be careful, but I thought it went really well. It's kind of off a little bit, but that's okay. Just do it gently, Michelle. Did I do this one too? Yep. You have to be careful with that scoring. Or you'll rip it like I did. <laughs> Hopefully these other ones. These ones were kind of, um, they're thinner paper. Okay, let's try this again. I'm going to go ahead and fold it like that. And then what I'm going to do is I want to just kind of fold these so that they kind of overlap about half an inch. And, you know, that's not a bad size just under four um, four inches for a pocket and then what I'm going to do is down here where I folded it and if you want to I know I have it somewhere my um, my kind of bone folder thing oh that blue one mm -hmm. uh, found it <laughs> But if you want to and have a, you know, like a better score, you could do that and either use a bone folder or you could measure it, you know, but I'm, I tend to just kind of like a bone folder. And then what I'm going to do is just kind of cut that right at that fold, kind of cut a little V there and then just cut that off. Same here. I'm going to cut it down. And then kind of cut it at a slant, I guess is what it was it's called. And then we're going to have a little pocket. How simple. I mean, super simple, right? So, and then, you know, I don't worry too much if it's perfect or not. It doesn't have to be for me. And then we're just going to use some art glitter glue. Because that's the glue I like. And put it on both sides there and then just on the little lip there like that and then I am going to just punch a hole approximately in the center and there's our pocket I mean simple you know, the you can kind of go ahead and do this first if you want to. And I'm just overlapping about half an inch just so that in the middle, just so that it can, um, so, you know, I can glue on top of it. And then kind of a little slant there, a little slant here. And then we'll just fold that up. Go ahead and do this here. 
and if you have a little problem you know with this you can cut off just a touch on the bottom so that it doesn't kind of bind up sometimes if you don't cut enough off it'll kind of bind up but you'll get a cleaner look if you kind of just trim that a little bit and some of these are kind of cracking and stuff that doesn't really bother me um, I'll show you what I'm talking about but I mean you could just you know knock out tons of these just by pulling out your scrapbook or your scrap paper and just kind of playing while you're watching TV at night or you know I mean you don't really have to put much thought into it as far as this but I did want to show you guys this one kind of cracked see how the paper kind of cracked so what I would do is what I always do <laughs> is just let me get my and I do have velcro on the bottom of these and that's what I put my sponges on somebody was asking me that and then just use some distress ink go around it it covers up those little cracks and you know they don't bother me too much and if you wanted to you could just use this you know like put it in a tuck spot you could glue it down whatever you wanted to do if you're going to use it for like a tuck spot then you just want to you know kind of distress on the back too if it's going to be like movable but most of these will probably be glued down in my books so So we're just going to continue working on these. Uh, this one's kind of ripped too, but you know, since we're going to kind of fold it and then cut that part off anyways, I'm going to try it and see. We shall try it. Uh, tomorrow is Clint's second attempt on his driving test and he, I don't know when this video will go up. It'll probably go up before we leave the house. So if you guys could say a little prayer for him, he's kind of anxious to get his driver's license back and you know, it's he's kind of been stressing about it a little bit, but if you pray he would appreciate that. And see that worked out pretty well and that's really a cute um, pocket. Again, I just put it on one side, the other side so that it lays nicely. And then just a little bit on here and I am using my art glitter glue that's what I always use for the most part and if you didn't want to put you know a little punch here then you don't have to I mean it's totally up to you I'm just kind of trying to get it centered <laughs> there we go but I love making things like this and you know they're the same style and they come together really really quickly and you know but depending on the size paper you use the color paper things like that I do have quite a few little <laughs> mismatches mis mismatch papers oh yeah but if you can keep that in your mind tomorrow we have to leave here at six o'clock in the morning so he can be there at eight o'clock so and then we're <laughs> our work um, I think it was my fault this time I said oh we should go over there you know you can do your test and then we should be home early and if it wasn't somebody called us this afternoon and said hey we need you in Farmington tomorrow <laughs> our our, our yeah boss. he's one of our kind of um, one of the head guys at one of our contracts and he's like I really need you tomorrow oh. in Farmington which is New Mexico oh, it's and hot. it's hot there we dislike going down there especially this time of year but we're gonna go down there and we'll have lunch and stuff but so much for <laughs> getting home early <laughs> so it's just one of those things 
but we're like, oh, you know, maybe the rest of the week will be nice and quiet. I, I need to just keep my mouth shut, I think, because, uh, yeah, maybe the rest of the week. <laughs> well, yeah, hopefully. Don't say it out loud. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, but not count. I tell you, people are, yeah, we've had, we had two privates today, two or three. Uh, one really. Well, yeah, we went down with the intent of doing two of them, but they ended up not needing us, the one people, so. But we just, I know this time of year, you know, it's just not, you can't really nope. um, plan on anything because as soon as you do, yeah, it just doesn't work out that way for us right now. Mm because of how busy we are and I mean you know everyone wants to dig and it's kind of like you know they know there's a deadline because we only have so much time but look how simple these are guys I mean they are coming together so quickly I think I'm going to do it like that that way I kind of have the little rows even though you're not going to see it I guess but, I mean, you can really knock these out when you are building your stash. And, I mean, just using tons of paper, you know. How fun is that one, though? I really like that. I just kind of eyeball it that it's somewhat in the center. And then, if you go ahead and distress ink it... You know, I mean, all you have to do is put in a little tag, a little journaling spot, a little journaling card. But we are going to come back and decorate some of these. Because I do want to do some little decorations on the front. But, I mean, these do not take long at all to make. Even Clint could make these. I'm good. <laughs> he wouldn't, but he could. <laughs> Somebody was laughing. They said, Michelle, you actually got Clint into doing paper crafts. <laughs> because I had him do that origami thing. Which he's been doing stuff like that for a while. But, yeah, it was kind of. <laughs> rather do fabric. Yeah, he really loves doing the fabric stuff. and I like kind of mixing it, you know. I think it's just fun. And I love junk journals because there's no, um, there are no rules. And I think that's why I love junk journals so much, is you can kind of do whatever you want and there's no rules. You know. Ooh, I love that. But, you know, I mean, just from a little slice of paper that I had in my, in my scrap bin... You know, it just doesn't take very long at all to knock out a whole bunch of these. And these will be so fun. And, I mean, you could use, you know, make these into uh, ATC holders. And ATC is the artist trading card. And if you made it, you know, the 2.5 by 3.5 or whatever it is, then you could really have something fun. So here's those ones I kind of cut. And you could do teeny tiny ones, big ones. You know, you could do full page ones almost. You know, as long as it fits whatever your design is. But I love just really quick projects. Sometimes that's what you want, you know. You just want something fast. And I'm just going to ramble for the video. <laughs> And I appreciate you guys are so funny. We read your comments. Clint and I will be like, have you seen that one? Have you seen that one? And I think somebody said that we're, our rambling's better than anything on TV. No, Virginia, <laughs> that was funny. I didn't look at it. Clint actually read it to me. So he's like, listen to this. <laughs> we love you guys. You just enjoy us. I mean, make it enjoyable for yes. us. Makes it worthwhile. Yeah, you know, the nice ones, so, and there's so many more nice ones than, 
mean ones or rude comments, you know, that it just makes everything all worth it. The good thing about this thinner paper is it's not cracking, so, you know, some of the older ones. And they do say, like, if you kind of wet it with a baby wipe or something, it won't crack either. So yeah, we're going down to Farmington. We'll probably eat at Chick-fil-A and Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> yeah, I have that. We get uh, donut holes when we go down. There's no, there's actually no donut places up where we live. Yeah, we, we have, have no donut gold. places here. Nothing so when we do go to um, Farmington, and it was actually Clint's idea. He loves donut holes and the Dunkin' Donuts is so yummy. He loves those, so we get extra when we're down there and eat on them for the weekend. <laughs> well, whatever's left by the time we get home. It's about a two-hour drive, so. And if we have time, I'll probably stop by Tuesday mornings. We'll see what time, you know, what kind of time and stuff we have and how exa exhausted we are. Sometimes we're just too tired to you know mess with shopping and stuff but we do need like a new set of sheets and I like to buy them at Tuesday morning because they're so inexpensive there so we need a few things like that you may as well look for crafty stuff while I'm there we shall see what happens <laughs> but aren't these fun how quick how fun I mean we've already got two, four, six, eight of them in 21 minutes. You know, so let's see what I want to do with this. Is that going to be too long? Let's just try it and see. I'm going to do it this way, I think. I mean, I don't mind having different sizes. I mean, that's the fun part, you know. If I cut it down, then I would have more scraps to use. So if I can use the you know what I already have. That'll be kind of fun, I think. It's kind of long. Uh, six inches. One, two, three, four, five, five and a half. So about five, five and a half. Once by the time I'm done trimming it and stuff. But. But yeah. So we might go to Chick Fil A most likely. Yeah. It's inexpensive and it's yummy and we don't have anything like that here. <laughs> they have like, you know, the Olive Garden and um, wow, wow. Red Lobster, things like that. And sometimes we eat at those places, but mostly we do. They just got Chick-fil-A a, a couple of years ago and mostly that's what we do when we're down there. It's healthy and it's just not that expensive and... Mm -hmm. We both really enjoy it. But look at that one. That one's kind of fun. I mean, compared to this one, it's, you know, quite a bit smaller. But, you know, you could, like, stack them or something, too. Like, you could glue it here and have, like, a double tuck or something. There's so many things you can do, you know, with the different sizes. And you could do little teeny ones, too. That would be kind of fun. I have to do that. <laughs> Kind of like the nesting tag pockets. That would be kind of cute. Make one whole set or something. Let's put that one aside with this one. Those are kind of a good size together. And then maybe we'll make a tiny one before I'm done. But it's 5.15 or so. We just finished um, supper. And I have stuff for... Um, strawberry shortcake in the refrigerator so we'll have that for dessert in a little bit but I knew if I kind of relaxed and got comfortable and ate dessert before I did my video I probably wouldn't do it <laughs> uh oh sorry Clint's phone's ringing <laughs> he said it might be a telemarketer it would keep getting so many of those. Yep, that's what it was. 
It was a telemarketer. Oh, hmm. Did you guys hear about that sweet little baby who fell out of her grandfather's arms on the cruise? Sorry, Clint got that. A cru it was a cruise line thing, and it just reminded me of that. So heartbreaking. Let's change the subject. Yeah. <laughs> I try not to talk about sad things on here. Sometimes you don't, you know. I do, what? but it's not something I like to do. But tomorrow, hopefully, it won't be too exhausting of a day. We were both so exhausted when we came home. And uh, I wanted to let you guys know that our ex expecting packages from us, our post office is only open for four hours during the day. And we haven't made it there yet. So, for those of you who have ink blenders you're waiting on, they will for sure, they were mailed today. I packaged them up and they'll be mailed out. Uh, I'm not sure if the post office mailed them or they'll be mailed out tomorrow, but you will be getting them soon. <laughs> but it's really, you know, it's kind of a hindrance when you're working all day and you can't mail anything because the post office isn't open. You know, ours are open from 10 to 2, Monday through Friday, and then 10 to 12.30 on Saturday. You know, when I used to work there five or six years ago, we worked from nine to, no, from eight to four. So sometimes it kind of hinders me when I'm mailing out packages. But just know they're on the way. We do have the air on. I think I told you guys that already. Never mind. <laughs> What's the temp outside, babe? It says 92. It says it's 92 outside right now. So I'm glad that it doesn't bother you guys too much because sometimes it really gets hot in here when we're filming. And I do have a, a light, like a ring light above. So I don't have a lot of um, shadows and stuff. And sometimes that gets really, really hot. So let's see. About done with this. And what I'm doing is, if I don't quite get it correct, I just kind of snip it and straighten it up. Because I want them to look nice, even if they're not perfect, you know. And then I want another small piece for this over here. I hope you guys have been having a good week. By the time you see this, it will be Thursday. Most likely, unless you don't watch it on Thursday, then it'll be whatever day you watch it. <laughs> oh. But we're really hoping Clint gets his license tomorrow and He's kind of, he's just like, I just want it done and over with, you know, kind of. He, sa he said if he didn't get it, he was just going to give up and <laughs> make, let her drive. Let, make me drive everywhere. I don't want to. I very rarely drive. Clint is always the driver. So, mainly it's because he's like, well, if I let you drive, will you at least go 10 miles out an hour over? <laughs> I don't, but when I do, you're like, uh. <laughs> you speed up just a little tiny bit. Huh, why don't, he's a really bad um, passenger driver, passenger seat driver. So I'm just like, here, honey, why don't you just drive? I've been driving since I was 13 years old. <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? Well, it's just, just one of those things, babe. <laughs> Let's go ahead and use this. We'll kind of make a li another little tiny pocket. And it's going to be a teeny tiny pocket. In fact, it might not even work.
because there is a perforated place here. I wonder if I could make that part of it. No, it'd probably break, wouldn't it? Yeah. We shall see. Let me see if I can fix it and see if I can use it at all. But yeah, I'm not really into driving anymore. I can drive and I do once in a while, but not not too often. So I did a little bit of a smaller instead of half an inch. So let's just try it and see. Kind of want it to be smaller than I think it was a little bit too long. Let's do it like that. I'm gonna just cut off a little bit of this bulk. That'll work. Cute. Yeah, I think that's the size I want. So let's just see how it works. Yeah, but even if he has to take that test 50 times, he's going to keep doing it until he gets Oh, I will, yeah. <laughs> but he really, he has been, you know, watching YouTube videos, and he knows what he did wrong. You know, like, hold your hands, you got to hold your hands. Like, turning. yeah, turning, you can't... Yeah. You can't kind of palm it and stuff like that. And He's been paying attention to things like that. Let's see if I can even do a little tiny circle here. So he kind of has been practicing. It's a little off, but I'm going to try it anyways. There we go. That looks pretty good. How cute. I don't know. I just thought this might be kind of fun to try. <laughs> That's what you do, you know, just grab some paper, kind of play with it, see what you can come up with. Okay, so this is my idea. I'm going to put these kind of over here. Look at all my little scraps, little tiny ones. And I don't throw anything, you know, I may throw these away, but if I want to use them for decoration for these things over here, then, you know, I don't want to do that. So, maybe we could do, let's do, yeah, like a little tuck spot. So, again, I'm just going to do one side and the bottom. I think it'd be kind of fun to kind of just do it like this. And then, kind of like this one, maybe like, you know, I kind of want like the, um, a frame of the back one all the way around and let's do a little tuck spot there just because it just they kind of ended up doing you know the different way different sizes and stuff and I thought it might be kind of interesting to put in our book in any book right so then you know I could kind of use this cut it down and make a little pocket or a little tag. Let's go ahead and do that since I'm kind of still playing. Okay, and then I'll just trim this and we'll just make a little journaling card. And that's another way, you know, to use up some of your scraps. I mean, this one, I think I could fold it in half. Uh, it would be a little shy of what I want. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball it and see, see what kind of mess I can make. Yeah, that'll work. And then just take your corner rounder, or you could cut it like a tag. And then, I mean, it would be kind of hard to journal on, I suppose. But you could put coffee dyed paper on the back or something and then pop it in here. Pop 
possibly like that. And look how cute that is. Isn't that cute? So let me see what else I have over here. I do have some more of the blue, which might be fun to put like up here. Let's just kind of, you know, I'm just going to kind of clean it up a little bit with my <laughs> trimmer. And then, you know, I could kind of fold it like that. And also do a little bit of corner rounding. But it's kind of fun to mix and match your patterns and kind of make them work, you know, throughout the whole thing. Is that too big? I don't think so. So then we have that. Let's go ahead and do this edge here. There we go. Like that. Let me coffee, or er, stress this so it kind of pops a little bit more. And this is just from playing with these little tiny pockets. I think they are so cute. And then, come on you. There we go. And then I have this little tuck spot here. So maybe I would, you know, just look through my stuff and see what I could put in there. What I have here. Here's like a little um, kind of fun piece that I might could just kind of slide in there. I think I need something brighter. What about a hot pink? Yeah, let's kind of cut that down maybe. I don't want it to be, you know, where it covers up the fun part. I kind of want it to be a certain size. Yeah, like that. Let's trim it a little bit more here. Kind of using my dots as a straight, <laughs> straight edge. <laughs> Of give it a little pop of color that's kind of cute you know if you like that and then maybe just an itty bitty pink one in there but let's do something a little different let's see I'm just kind of thinking about the right size yeah that'll work and let's kind of do it about right here And then we'll make a little tag because that's just really cute. I love itty bitty tags. Like that. And then we also have a little tuck spot here. So, what am I going to put there? Let's see what else I can put. Ooh, look at these. That is pretty, and that would fit in with the colors, kind of. So let's just kind of cut this down. And trim it just a little bit. It's going to be an itty-bitty tuck spot. Let's do our quarter-inch rounder. But, I mean, even these little tiny things you can kind of decorate up. I think those are so cute. So you have one, two, three, four, five little tags in there. And then, depending on how you glue it down here, you could glue like the top, sorry, the top here, here, and here, and then have like a bigger piece, maybe with some lace or some... Uh, fabric or something here. I thought, think that would be cute. And then I also pulled some fabric because I thought some of this might be really fun 
just to kind of decorate up instead of always using paper and stuff like that sometimes it's just fun to use up some of your fabrics and these are some that Clint has kind of been um, working with when he was doing his ruffles but you know just kind of it's kind of like a little calico that's cute you don't need a whole lot to decorate these I think you know the papers themselves kind of decorate it and then maybe just a simple little flower maybe like that little light blue one that'd be kind of cute just to kind of tie everything together and I still need to find my flatback pearls they're probably on this table somewhere but look how cute that is wouldn't that be cute to stick in a journal so that wasn't my idea though <laughs> even my ideas are rambling thoughts so I just really wanted to make tons of these little pockets but you know when I was making them and putting some stuff over there <laughs> you know I mean you have to just kind of work with when you get an idea you just kind of have to go with it you know but I mean look at all this stuff we can do we can kind of do a little pot um, journaling area here with this one I do like to have you know some things ready to go so I don't have to think so much about them so like Oh, I need a little journaling spot, and then I can just pull it out, and it's ready, you know. That's kind of the way I want it to be. I want it to be so that it kind of comes over the lip, and then I'm just going to do my corner rounder, and then that's going to pop in there. But, and, you know, I didn't put hardly any thought into it, I mean... All it is is some scratch paper that they can journal on in the back. And then I do want to kind of decorate this up a little bit. And like I said, I pulled some of this paper and or the fabric over. I thought that would be kind of fun to play with. kind of want a little longer piece. But, I mean, you don't have to have a lot to decorate with by any, you know, you just have to have imagination. Some people, somebody had said that they didn't have hardly anything to decorate with or to make a junk journal out of, but you know, I was telling Clint, you know, you always get, we get tons of like, um, Crap. yeah, we get tons of junk mail, you know, and things like that, and, uh, you know, sometimes you have, like, flower books, you know, hey, buy flowers because it's spring. And, I mean, it's really something that you can really, you know, utilize and come up with some really cute ideas. You don't have to put a lot of money into crafting. No, you don't. I mean, and most of the things that we get are from yard sales and stuff like that because, you know, we just don't have anywhere to... to um, shop and stuff like that so you know go to yard sales go to thrift stores you guys know how often we have <laughs> a yard sale video and stuff like that you know I mean pull stamps off of your <coughs> um, letters and use those I mean they don't have to be you know the special kind of stamp or anything like that just kind of you know use what you have use food coloring. Food coloring is really cheap if you want colored papers, things like that. That's my... You can you can still craft even if you're not... if you don't have the money to craft. And I kind of like this stamp because it kind of matches my little thing and I thought you know that'd be kind of cute just to throw there
and you know I mean you don't have to put a lot of thought into it but wouldn't that be cute just to throw into a little junk journal I mean how fast have these taken us you know they haven't taken us very long about 40 minutes or so let's do one more and then we'll call it good but let's do one of these flowery ones because they are just so cute and you know I can come back and do some more of the little tiny ones if I want or whatever you know it's just kind of fun but I mean look at this this is perfect to go in here I think they both came from the same <laughs> scrapbook paper I'm just gonna uh, oh wait oh sister is over there in one of my boxes she's getting a shoe box and she's like double the size of that shoe box and she's laying in the middle of it <laughs> can you see her daddy yeah <laughs> it's totally full it has my coffee dyed stuff in there and she's laying at Sophia she's laying right in the center of it and nothing fits <laughs> but she's like I'm so happy <laughs> They are so fun, and if there's a box, yeah, they are in heaven, aren't they? Usually when we get packages or something, I will leave the boxes for a while. So this one I kind of messed up a little bit, but we're going to trim it down and make it work. My corner rounder, I dropped it and broke it, so sometimes if I don't line it up correctly, it kind of has a weird ledge thing. So I have to kind of trim it sometimes. But I mean, how cute is that? It's just a simple little thing. Let's see if we have a stamp or something that we could add to this. I don't really have any pink. Ooh, maybe I do. Let's see. Can I have this pink? This is some I use to make um, like flower, satin flowers or whatever they're called. But you know, sometimes you just want to kind of layer something up on there. Um, let's see if there's something else. Ooh, what's this? I don't know what that is. <laughs> it doesn't look very pretty though kind of like a um, dog collar. I don't know if it is, but there's some more of that one ribbon that was kind of velveteen, whatever. That's kind of cute. And then maybe a stamp. Let's see if we find a pink stamp in here. That'd be cute. You know, just kind of play until you are happy with the uh, outlook, outcome, and then you're done, you know. You don't have to put a lot of thought into it. Well, it, it is hard when you first start, and I say that because I, I remember when I first started how hard it was to do just a simple collage, and I remember telling Clint's mom, I want it to be as easy as cooking. Because I do love to cook, and I don't have to think about cooking. It's just something that comes naturally. And now, you know, the more I collage and stuff, the easier it, it is for me. But it did take some practice, for sure. So. But, you know, I mean, just kind of put it together until you like the outcome. And I think that is really cute something simple just a little decoration and then it has this little pink thing I think these turned out so cute and let's see we finished three that I think are totally um, completed and are ready to go in any journal and then so let's see we have tons of these pockets so we have one two three four five six eight, nine, ten, eleven. We have a total of eleven pockets in like forty-five minutes. 
So, and if you didn't decorate and all you did is make make pockets, then you could have tons, you know, you could have 20 or 30 pockets in 40 minutes, an hour, or something like that. So I think these are so fun, a great way to use your stash and a great way to build up your stash. I think it's pretty fun. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful Thursday. And thank you for praying for Clint. We really appreciate it. And hopefully we'll have some good news for you guys in the next video. But be sure and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We are having a giveaway. And you need to go to the giveaway um giveaway video yeah I can't think what I'm saying the giveaway video which will be linked below and you need to be a subscriber and all the rules are in there so but you can go over that we are doing a stash builder or a stash buster uh, giveaway so I will be sending three lucky people tons of goodies that they can use for their stash so be sure and hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up we really appreciate it Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you guys in the next video. You guys have a wonderful day. See you soon. Bye. Take care.